Well, what's unique about Highway 3 through the Kootenai Pass is the steepness of the terrain. Uh, we get a lot of snowfall, approximately 10 meters on average per year of snowfall at Kootenai Pass. And um, it's the only other trans-provincial highway other than the Trans-Canada um, through BC. Well, the main reason we wanted to change um, the previous, um, or upgrade from the previous system and how we operated was to increase the level of service to the traveling public. I mean, that's one of our key mandates. Our other system was getting a little bit old and some of the parts were becoming unavailable for us to be able to maintain it. So the reliability of the system was another motivator. Highway 3 through Kootenai Pass is the shortest route to the coast. There's a lot of commercial traffic that travels on this road as well as commuters. When the pass is closed for avalanche control, it increases the amount of resources that are required on the pass. In order to maintain safe winter driving conditions for everyone throughout the valleys, the communication and the logistics of planning for avalanche control is just crucial. The Cooney Pass Avalanche Program required uh, some method to go about controlling avalanches in a much more timely fashion. Because we were using telemetry or radio communication between the shelter and the office, uh, we had trouble with communications in severe weather conditions, um, some of the paths from you know connecting A to B, etc., uh, could only be done linearly. So what we did innovatively is we took existing uh, radio technology that's available today, which allows for what's referred to as uh, self-healing networks. So every radio, as you turn on the radio, they know where their partners are. We just kept developing and, and utilizing different components to eventually come up with a solution that would allow us to do that effectively. And what it does also allows us to utilize the fact that we can simultaneously control both sides of the pass at the same time. Back in the 1980s, it would take, with the technology that they were using, it would take up to eight hours to do avalanche control over Kootenai Pass. And then in the early 90s, there was an innovation and they went to a 105 millimeter rifle and the closure times were reduced to four hours. And now with this innovation, we've got our avalanche control time now down to about 30 minutes. In, in the last 30 years, we've been able to reduce the, the shoot times at Kootenai Pass from eight hours down to 30 minutes, which is uh, really, really significant.